Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another home gym video. In today's video, guys, I'm gonna talk about some of my, maybe a top five, maybe a top three, maybe just whatever comes to my brain, uh, of my worst home gym equipment purchases. So I'm gonna go over stuff that, uh, that I have currently that was a bad purchase, things that I've sold in the past. Um, if you want to stay up to date on everything that is home gyms, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We do everything from equipment announcements to some reviews when I get my hands on them and just, you know, go over the process of having a home gym and all that kind of stuff. I do want to give you guys a quick update on these things. The Pepin uh, Fast Series Dumbbells. I'm really loving these. I'm working on a video right now where I'm going to show you um, a bunch of different accessory exercises you can do with them. And I've incorporated these into warm-ups, leg training, upper body days, obviously. Um, and they've just been, I use them in every workout. They're amazing, I love them. So now what we're talking about today, we're talking about the worst home gym purchases. So number one, number one on the list is going to be a reverse hyper. So this is something we've seen um, people kind of regret making in other videos. Um, the thing with the reverse hyper, and the thing that, like a lot of this stuff is gonna come down to kind of the same similar points, but uh, the reverse hyper for me, it didn't really make a lot of sense <clears throat> because uh, it took up so much floor space. It was essentially a third or a fourth of my gym. And it was, you know, it was a very specific machine. There wasn't really a lot you could do with it. And it was also fairly expensive. Um, I did like it for what it was. It was the Rogue Westside uh, Scout Hyper. and. You know, it functioned great for what it is, but I mean, it's just this big giant table and like, I felt like my head was going to hit the ceiling when I was lying on it. You know, I had to flop myself up onto it. It was kind of awkward and, you know, honestly, I just did not use it as much as I thought I would and it took up too much space. So, turned around and sold it. So, the good thing with the gym equipment stuff is you can usually turn around and sell it and get pretty close if not more than what you paid for it in these crazy times um but yeah so scout hyper definitely up there definitely uh one of the higher things on the list um the next one i'll show you is less of an equipment more of an accessory so this is something i thought i would end up using all the time and there's nothing actually wrong with it but this is the breath belt so it's a cool thing because it uh you know it's a velcro weightlifting belt and the idea is that it trains you to kind of brace your abs a little bit more if you're not good at already doing that. Um, and it's good for like, if you want to do, you know, beltless training for a long time, you can use this to kind of mimic that without getting, um, you know, the full benefits or the full use of a weightlifting belt. And then you throw the belt back on and your positioning is similar, all that stuff. I just don't use it. It sits there and it collects dust. So it was also fairly expensive. I think it was like $200, which is like similar to the custom one that I got made from Pioneer Fit with the with the lever belt on it and everything. I mean, this is just this is just beautiful, and I use it obviously for all my heavy stuff, and it's amazing. It's amazing. So <clears throat> you know the you know the saying: buy once, cry once. So Scout Hyper, um, the belt, and the next biggest thing. I, I've talked about this before, but the um, the Echo Bike. So I got myself the Echo Bike. I was like, oh, that's what I'm. That's the reason I'm not doing cardio is because I don't have a bike staring at me 24 seven wrong. I just don't use it at all. It just sat there and collected dust. Wasn't fun to use. If I do go back and get an exercise bike at some point, I will probably not get an air bike. Um, there's a couple reasons I didn't like that. It was, that's a bike for like a CrossFit athlete or like an athlete in general. If you have zero cardio capacity, it's not a good starting out. Uh, I'm going to, you know, get into doing cardio now. Um, better options out there for, for sure. But I just, you know, plainly, I didn't use it. it I did have good workout, workouts on it sometimes. I was doing like uh, some kind of, like at the time I was doing like conjugate style programming and I was doing a lot of, um, like whenever I would do my lower days that were speed days, I would do, sometimes, I would do um, like interval training, uh, like between that and deadlifts, which was a killer workout. But um, I liked it for that but it was just, I didn't use it. I wanted to improve my cardio with it and I just wasn't doing it. So, um, you know, weightlifting is pretty similar to sprinting in some aspects. So it didn't really make sense for the purpose I got it for. It was a lot of money and it took up, um, it actually didn't take up a, a crazy amount of floor space, but again, it took up floor space. Um, 
And the problem is I've got a very old basement here and it gets very dusty very quickly. And I found that using the bike, it just kicked up all that dust. So it's like every time I used it, I'd have to clean after or I'd like suck down dust. And it was just, it was, uh, it was painful. Um, the next thing I would say, um, one of my mistakes with the home gym was getting cheap lighting. Now, cheap lighting can work. It, like a lot of the like cool kind of decorative stuff, it doesn't make sense if your space isn't finished. If you need to hide, you know, holes or paint falling off the wall, the Homer flag's a great option. You know, a beautiful um, band uh, holder from Rogue. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sure, it's cool, but like, you can't even really see it. It's covered in cables. It's just, I don't know. That kind of stuff doesn't really make sense for my gym, at least right now for the time being. So I did some things like that, that um, I don't necessarily regret. Um, but I kind of wish I had just skipped that and focused more on finishing the space better first. So what I was going to say was the lighting. So I went with some of the uh, cheap lights from Amazon and they do work. But I mean, if you don't have, you know, a good way to conceal the wires, if you have like really bad lighting or no lighting at all, then, you know, I eventually, as you can see above me, I got uh, pot lights put in and I love these things. And it allows me to, if I want to at some point, I can totally finish the space. And it looks way better and the lighting's awesome. And I flip a switch and I'm not, you know, having lights pop out of the ceiling sometimes on me or the, the thing randomly fails or I bump into it and it breaks. Um, like these are hardwired lights and they're not going anywhere and they serve their purpose. They look good and they light up the space. So things like that, um, you know, really made a difference. Um, some other things that I did and I could go on a tangent on each thing, but I think to just wrap it up more, um, was I bought a lot of stuff just from Rogue, just because I assumed it was the best make and the best brand, and I wanted to have that, you know, that beautiful Rogue sticker on everything, um, or the, the Rogue name on everything. But as I got more into this, and I started making the channel, and was watching more stuff on YouTube, I was like, man, there's a lot of great companies out there, and there's a lot that people just don't know about, that even has better equipment and it's cheaper and it's you know sourced locally or whatever you're into um so i wish i had done a little bit more research rather than just kind of blindly buying everything from rogue now over time i've been able to uh to do that the the main thing i guess would be my weight plates which is crazy i'll tell you a little story about these so i have the um i have the the rogue machined olympic weight plates now i think these are probably the most beautiful weight plates out there you know opinion but uh i really love the look of these i love the sound of them i love everything about them now i could have got something very similar for probably half of what i paid for if i had just done you know the research been a little bit more patient but i was dead set on getting these so not necessarily a regret but definitely something i could have done my homework better with now the funny thing is about these is i got 675 pounds shipped to my door all in i think it was 2500 bucks canadian um might have been more than that i forget exactly but i looked up the cost of these recently like because i bought these in 2020 like march april may june somewhere around that right when covid was peaking right right when i started the home gym um the cost of them now for the same set is almost 5500 dollars is that wild like the price has almost um oh, it's almost tripled really if like before taxes um crazy crazy stuff so um kind of a regret but at the same time i'm glad i went all in on the home gym before the craziness took off because it never went back to normal we were always talking about that on all those earlier covid videos it's like ah the prices will drop you know at some point just hold out for now um it hasn't been the case i assume someday things will you know inflation will i, I don't know i'm not in uh, I'm not an economist, I'm an optometrist, but anyways, appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments what your worst home gym purchase was and why. And uh, yeah, sorry that I've been a little bit absent. I, I like to upload more frequently, but with the uh, flooding and stuff, it was just, it was honestly kind of depressing to come down here. And I was like, man, I just want to get this stuff organized and cleaned up before I get back into the grind of making videos and stuff. Um, but we're getting there. We're getting there. I still got some things to work out with the shirts, but we're making progress. It's clean at least, and I can 
I can almost walk around without getting wet. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Catch the next one. Check it out. Bye.